One of the worst things that an athlete can do is put a glass ceiling on their potential. And it's so common nowadays that we do this. And we do this by actually having an over-reliance on training. We often think as athletes, we're so extreme that we think that this body, your body, but whatever body, is only remarkable and only will achieve the great things for you when it's been driven into the ground with hard training, when we're fit enough, when we've done the hard work and we've chiseled it out and chiseled out this performance through hard work. And we only think that we can get a PBS nor best or really achieve our medals or whatever we want to achieve in that sport if we have super fitness, this extreme level of super fitness. And this is limiting. This is very limiting because we start to think, well, this is the, we can only achieve if we've done hard training. We can only do it. We can only run faster when we've had hard training. And it's limiting because there's only so much training you can do. And if you do too much training without supreme recovery, then you're going to get injured and you're going to run slower because you're not recovering. You're doing so much hard training. There is a limit on the amount of training that you can do. Now, your potential, now I wouldn't go as far as your potential is limitless, but you've got to go into a race thinking that. And the one problem that you have in terms of reliance on training and being obsessed with training is the fact that as you get older, you will have to run races when you're not super fit. It will happen, and it will happen a lot. Because if you're going to rely so much on training, you're gonna train hard and you're gonna get injured. And plus when you're training age, when you've been training for a certain period of time, when you get older, as you get older and the training age increases, you will get injured. If you're not prepared to change. If you're not prepared to change your aspect or change your approach to training, then you will get injured. If you rely so much on training and being super fit, then you will get injured. Which means that you're going to have times when you're going into racing not super fit, not as fit as you want to be. And it'll start to happen more and more. And this happens in the mid-twenties levels, when mid-twenties you start to get injured more and more. The amount of training you can do has a, has a limit on. There's only so much training you can do. Now, your potential is much more than that. It's not limitless, but it's much, much more than that. And if you're going into a race thinking that I'm, I've just been injured, I'm not super fit, you're ultimately, and if you rely so much on the fitness, well, you're going to go into that race with a glass ceiling. And you're going to go into that race thinking, I can't do this, I might as well modify my, my thoughts on what I can achieve in this. Um, uh, you're going to go into that race with a negative thought about it. You're going to, the, and you can't have that. You cannot go into a race, any kind of race, regardless of the fitness, and put a limit on you, put a glass ceiling, put a limit on your potential. You cannot do that. You will not, it will not help you. This realistic pattern. You either go full in mentally into a race and thinking, this, this is, all I have to do is relax, using relax and um, using it kind of focus which is either on what you want to achieve and there's lack of self-doubt that is what you want to do lack of self-doubt and focus or you don't do it at all or you go in you know you don't do it at all you've got to be absolute when you're going into a race regardless of the amount of training you do regardless of whether the fact you've got an injury it's just because you've just been injured for a month two months doesn't mean you're not going to do a, a PB in that race. Doesn't mean you're not going to live, win that race. You've got to go in absolute into that race. Don't put a glass ceiling on your potential. Stop relying so heavily on fitness. You've got to stop that. It's really, it's, it's putting a limit on your potential by thinking that training this body that you are inhabiting can only run at its best when you've supremely fit. It doesn't work like that. Your body has to be in the right state. Your mind has to be in the right state. You have to be in the right state for you, the body to perform for you. And once you have it in the right state, it can perform magical stuff for you. It can surprise you. It can shock you. And once you start, put, start putting pressure on yourself, then 
you're going to release yourself. Now, you're constantly thinking, well, you might be thinking like, well, if you're going to go into there thinking, oh, I'm going to get this race, I'm going to get this time, you're putting pressure on yourself. No, that's not, the, the, because when you, you, you start to put pressure on yourself, when you say, I need to run fast, I need to do this, that's when you put tension and pressure on yourself. When you know you're going to run well, that's not pressure. That's just the focus on the outcome that you want. But when you have no doubt in your mind, you're going to achieve that time, or you're observing the doubt in your mind and you're not getting drawn in by it, then you can. Get, then there's no pressure whatsoever. It's just an, an absolute focus on what you want. You've got to notice the self-doubt coming in. And this is a big thing. When you notice the self-doubt coming in, the self-doubt will say to you, you're not fit enough. You can't get drawn into that. If you've come in after an injury and you, uh, you have to race, and you, the, the mind saying, you're not fit enough. Any of your thoughts like that, just because a thought comes into it, you don't have to believe it. Okay? That's one thing. So if you're actually coming in and you're, you're believing the thought that you're not fit enough, then you're believing it, then you're putting a limitation on yourself. That's a doubt that you're put, bringing into the race. Stop putting a glass ceiling on your potential. I, I, I don't like the word deluded, but you almost have to go into a race in that, for want of a better word, deluded, that you're going to run a fast race. You're going to. I, you know it in your heart. Not, I need to do this, or need to run fast, or hope. Hope is weak as well. You don't hope. You have to focus on it. That need is going to tighten you up. But... What's going to tighten you up more is when you say to yourself, I'm, I'm not fit enough for this, which is a social construct. You've developed that thought pattern because everybody else has developed that thought pattern. You develop that thought pattern because you've relied so much on training. You've relied on the training to give you what you want and it can only give you what you want once you're in the right mental state to capitalise on all that training. So many athletes do all the training and they come to the racing and they haven't, they've been disappointed with the result because they're thinking, well, I've, I should be running fast. I've done all the training. What, what else can there be? Your mental state, how you are, your relaxation, your focus. That's, what, that's what's the, 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 the difference. And this is massive. So when you, you have to question yourself in your you have to observe your own thoughts. Am I relying so much in training? Can I pull back my training? Can I take two days off a week from my training? Are you really going to be unfit after five days a week of training? Am I getting the recovery? Am I relying too much? Do I, am I saying to myself, I need to be super fit to get what I want out of this? Because if you are, you're putting a limitation, a glass ceiling on your potential. And this has to stop if you really want to take the step, next step forward. There's more to training or more to performance than just training. Now, to, to, on it, I'm just going to say training is important. A consistent level of training is important. Of course, you have to practice your sport. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that you can come out and without lack of training after years and perform like you used to. No, of course, training is important. But you to capitalize on all the training you do, you need to be in a relaxed state. Simple as that. So question yourself. You've got to observe your thoughts and think, is that correct? Am I just thinking that because someone else told me my trainer is taught you're not fit enough so don't expect too much out of this race the expectation and stuff like that so hopefully that video gives you a, a, a great understanding to, to encourage you just to think about it you either go into a race all in or you don't race at all that's my thought structure don't go don't go in thinking I'm not very fit I won't do very well that's not going to help okay Please subscribe to this channel. It gives you information like this video. I don't think you get information like in this video anywhere else. So please subscribe if you want to be an athlete that wants to run to their potential and run further than you ever thought possible, then you have to be subscribed to this channel to get the information. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.